Today's video is divided in two parts. First, I'll share with you some suggestions, some good practice on using tags. And after that, I'll show you how I upgraded my system after Evernote upgraded the tags feature. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last video and you understand it. But before we go to the computer, here's an advice I give to all my students. People contact me all the time asking if this notebook, this tag, that notebook, that tag are the best way to do it. The truth is I don't know because there is no universal answer. There is no universal solution. And one thing I noticed time after time is people looking for solutions in apps. Apps are tools. They are not solutions. That's why I answer the question asking another set of questions. What is that that you want to do with your system? In other words, what do you want to find? What do you want to know? And based on that answer, you can create a system that will answer your questions. For example, in my case, it's important to know how many clients I have from the United States, from Spain, from Portugal. Last year, last quarter, and I built my Evernote system to answer these questions. If for some reason tomorrow I have a different set of questions to answer, it's very easy to make changes. The way we interact with Evernote is not inserting numbers, inserting data in a database. We can move things from one notebook to another, insert tags in a bunch of notes, we can remove tags from notes, add another tag, change the name of tags. It's so easy. Okay, enough talking. Let's go to the computer. Let's start with the good practices. First, create a naming system that makes sense to you. For example, because I worked in aviation a long time ago, I still know by heart more city codes than you can imagine. So all my city names in Evernote are city aviation city codes. It makes a lot of sense in my system because I know the city codes. It's a three-letter system. It's easy to write. It's easy to organize. It's easy to find. I also like to make notebooks and tags a single word when possible, just because it's easier to remember. So in the case of notebooks, I have documents, I have consulting, I have health, and so on. And for tags, I try to do the same. And finally, this is the device I think it's the most important for tags. Try hard to create names that will be useful in different notebooks. For example, I use my city name tags on my consulting notebook. I want to know where my student is from, my client is from. I use them on my travel notebook and in other notebooks. I see it as the most important advice because doing it in this way, you can find information in a single notebook that relates to that topic, to that tag, or the information related to that tag in your entire Evernote, or even in selected notebooks using the advanced search. Before the last upgrade, I almost never used nested tags because selecting the parent note would not show notes related. Okay, this is <laughs> really hard to visualize. Let's use the computer. <laughs> I already had main tags to organize child tags, for example, authors that contains the name of the authors of books I read and I clip that information to notes in Evernote, articles that I clip and save in Evernote. There is a video here where I explain how you can do this. Also tags for the Evernote team, people that I interact with in Evernote, meetings that I have with them, family members. I also have a video here in the channel about how I organize my family documents in Evernote, so check the description below. PR, real estate agents. Real estate agents is, in fact, a good subject for a future video. I save here business cards and take notes. I'll save that for, for a future video. And reporters. I moved all those main tags to a higher level. Now it's under people and People is now part of my shortcuts. Remember that I told you to adopt a naming system that makes sense to you? If I come here and 
I don't know, type New York City. There's the city code for New York. I can find that tag. If I tag in small, I can find in small. But I guess you can relate to the fact that it's not easy to remember, let's say, all the alters I read. So sometimes if I click here and go alters, I can check the names and find the one. Oh, this is the one and click the alter I want. So I have two ways to get to the same information. But keep in mind that I only use the shortcuts for things that I use almost all the time. I already talked about this in other videos, but I treat the shortcuts area like my desk. Everything that I need, a pencil, a pair of scissors, I don't know, my keyboard, things that I have around me on my desk. It's kind of the same analogy. Tags, notebooks, save it, search. Any information I need frequently is in the shortcuts area. Say I need all the notes I had with the Evernote team. Uh, all I have to do is click here, click this arrow on the pill, and select include sub tags. And here's a good example of a tag that I use in multiple notebooks in different topics. For example, we have here uh, an article that I clipped from Evernote website. This is in my knowledge base notebook. It has the tag Ian Small. But this other one, this is the interview I did with Ian Small, and it's in the YouTube notebook. There's nothing here because this is my tests account. <laughs> and by the way, if you want to watch the interview, check the link below. Now, before we move on, I have to show you an advanced search term created. Now we are using the reverse order of the date. So 2022, January the 1st. This will show all the notes created from January the 1st, including January the 1st. And let me use this opportunity to show you another tip. Let's change this to side list. And now we can tweak this titles here. Just right click it and let's add creation date and remove date updated. Now we have, let's order by creation date. And now we have all the notes in Evernote from January the 1st until February the 20th. I don't have a lot of notes in this test account, so let's create a new one. New note. Let's now repeat that, created, and here it is. Okay, let's make this even better. Say you want all the notes only from January. Let's use the minus, created, the year, 2022, but the minus doesn't include the date we add here. So we need to go to February, the first. This will restrict the search to all dates before February the first. So let's do it. And here we have only January notes. Now let's combine this with the new tagging system I'm using to extract some data from Evernote. Are you ready? Here we go. So let's say I want to know the number of clients uh, I had last year. So located in consulting notebook. And here you can see that we have seven notes, meaning that I have a total of seven clients here. But as you can see, six of them are from 2021 and one is from 2022. So let's use what we just learned. Created on 2021, January the 1st minus Created 2022, January the 1st. And here we go. Now we have only six notes. But say you want to know in 2021 how many clients from New York. Just select New York. And now we have four notes. 
Before we move on, I have to show you another structure I created with nested tags. Here we have world, then country, and finally the cities. Let's try United States. I can go filter, located in consulting, now tags. Let's choose United States and include sub tags. And now I have four clients all created in 2021. You know what? Maybe a series about advanced search would be interesting. Please let me know in the comments below if this is something you would like to see here on the channel. Meanwhile, you can learn more about tags watching the videos in this playlist. And if you want to support what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. See you soon.